As the COVID-19 virus continues to plague us, more and more schools across Jamaica are resorting to the use of technology to meet the needs of their students. In many cases, learning has been shifted to the virtual space, and educational apps and technologies are the new must-haves. The Herbert Morrison Technical High School in St. James is well aware of this new normal and will not be left behind. Meet Jason and Sunil, two students of the school's engineering club who recently created a new COVID-19 web app and interactive school website to increase access to accurate, current and valuable information during this fight against COVID-19. I'm Jason Clark, the creator of both COVID-JA and my school's website at Herbert Mercer Technical High. I'm Sunil England, creator of the React API integration for the COVID-JA web app. The old website was outdated. Now the design was, might have been popular around 2006-2009, but by today's standards in 2019-2020, it is completely outdated. Information on that website was also irrelevant and not up to date. So on the new website, we have a modern design. It has information on the school, what we do, the news, various news and upcoming events for the school. It has an, our contact information, our number, or email, and an interactive map that we can find the school. We also have all the clubs in an interactive card system where you see the club that you want to join. You hover over it and it flips around and gives all the information related to the club. Now some clubs even have websites of their own, such as for the engineering club. The updated website also houses important downloadable documents, such as the syllabus for various grades and application forms for the school's sixth form program. New students will soon be able to use the website to participate in a tour of the school without ever having to leave the comfort of their homes. Now on the website, we are also integrating our virtual tour. Now a few students some time back created a virtual tour of the entire school. Now what we are working on now is placing it in the website. Now due to the coronavirus restrictions, we can't have large gatherings. So what that virtual tour will allow it is for new students to be able to interact with the compound, to go where they want, to explore, to discover. They'll also be able to meet the teachers, the principals. I also created a web app that tracks COVID-19. Now on this web app, you have valuable information on COVID-19, what it is, how it's spread, you have information and what to do if you think you have the symptoms. You have information that caters to persons that may be vulnerable to COVID-19 and likes to find out a little more information on it. Now it also has a dedicated part that tracks the coronavirus worldwide. It's integrated with a React API which my friend Sneel created, which allows all the data from all over the world to be tracked and placed in the website. So if you are curious on the amount of cases, the recovered, the deaths in Jamaica, you can find it on the website. Whether it be Jamaica, America, Spain, England, all these countries are integrated into the web app. So initially, Jason created a website that was based around HTML and CSS. Now, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which means that um, the information will only be displayed static. And CSS means cas cascading style sheets. So that is responsible for the aesthetics of the website. My React API integration came into play when I saw Jason's HTML based site. And I said to him that, okay, seeing that the information is, would have to be manually updated, I would start to use the React API to draw data from each country in the world and put them into one section of the website that can be 
manipulated dynamically through the API, not by the user. So in real time, the information gets updated as a new case comes on a, on a live server. According to Sunil, not only is the web app interactive and current, it is also adaptive because the data on the app can be accessed on laptops, desktops, and cell phones. In other words, the data being displayed conforms to the shape of any device being used. Now, I decided to create this app because my parents like to watch the news. And on the news, there were there's always reports of new cases in different countries. However, there are few times that Jamaica comes up. So I wanted to create a medium through a website, a web app, where you could find informa real-time information on the coronavirus anytime you'd like, wherever you are. To access Jason's free COVIDJA web app, persons should visit covidja.ml. His school's new website can be found at herbertmarsontechnicalhigh.tk. Within the engineering club, there are different skills and experts. And, and, and what you just see coming, um, happening between both of them there is just two different skills integrating together to form a complete product. I feel like there is hope for Jamaica. I feel like Herbert Morrison Technical High School is on the right path in terms of adopting technology or providing at least the environment for students who want more than what is required in the learning curriculum or those students who want to be a part or a fight of the COVID-19.